Hi, I'm Chef Mike Gerdy, Executive Chef of Wusthof Trident of America, and I'm here to talk about our three basic blade shapes. The straight edge, the serrated edge, and the hollow edge. On this Cook's Knife right here, the advantage of this straight edge is it gives you a very smooth cut. You're also going to see it on boning knives, trimming knives, and paring knives. It also holds up really well, so it's great for all your slicing, dicing, mincing, and chopping. Our next edge here is a serrated edge. And with the serrated edge, what you'll notice on this knife is it has teeth or it has points. And these points are very important. They're designed to pierce the outer layer of whatever you're cutting and pull itself through. So this knife is really great for crusty breads. Not only that, it's really good for really soft things like angel food cake. Great for tomatoes, pineapple, anything that you have a hard time getting through the skin, the serrated knife does a great job with that. Now the hollow edge. The hollow edge is really a straight edge knife that have these hollow divots right on the side of the blade. And what those divots do is it creates an air pocket between the blade and whatever you're cutting. Helps food fall off the blade a little easier. Also allows juices to flow if you're cutting something like a big roast beef or something like that. That creates less resistance on the knife and when you have less resistance on the knife, it's gonna be easier to use. Also with that hollow edge on there, you're going to be able to get really fine, fine cuts. So you'll see the hollow edge a lot on our Asian style knives. You'll also find them on our larger carving knives because it allows the juices to flow. So that's three basic blade shapes. The straight edge, the serrated edge, and the hollow edge. To learn more tips and techniques, visit Woodstuff.com.